Hey everyone, it's Rock the Cash, People's Champ, coming to you live from Cash Stadium. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Cash TV. In this episode, we'll be uh, reviewing week four of the FNFL. But before we get into that, we've got a bit of a song to play in the background. I'm not going to say what it is or why I'm playing it, but it will become uh, noticeable as we go through the results. All right, in the first game, Rock for Cash is on the board. Rock for Cash having their first win of the year, uh, beating Smooth Criminal 98.3 to 68.6. Uh, Rock for Cash had uh, a few players that did well for him this week. Um, Herbert got 20, Pachinko got 23, Brown, St. Brown got 14, Thielen got 11, Ma got 6. And for Smooth Criminal, Richardson got 27, and the Broncos' defence got 14. So, uh, as you can tell, Smooth Criminal not tracking along at the moment. This song's uh, for her as well. She's gone off the fucking rails. Uh, in the next game, Archie's All-Stars um, were hosting Herbert's OnlyFans. Herbert's OnlyFans winning again, uh, 123.48. Archie's All-Stars, 90.42. Um, Archie's All Stars, the same, the same predicament as uh, Smooth Criminal at the moment. This song's for them as well. For Herbert's only fans, Herbert got 21, McCaffrey got 45, if you don't mind, four touchdowns. Keenan Allen got 10, A Chain got 25, and for Archie's, not too much going on there. Chase got 10, Andrews got 22, and the Cowboys defense got 28. So great win there by Herbert's only fans. In the next game, the dark side took on uh, Team Mazza, the big talking Team Mazza, the Mazza train. This uh, song's for them as well. They've gone off the fucking rails as well. Uh, the dark side, 101.92, Team Mazza 59.3. So 42 point win uh, there for the dark side. For the dark side, Mahomes got 12, Ayak got 17. Collins got 32, Bass got 14. For Team Mazza, not much going on there, but Brady got 10, Smith got 11, and Sutton got 10. So they're in a world of hurt. They're fucking going nowhere at the moment. So in the next game, Moneymakers uh, XXL defeated Little Waiters 142.7, Little Waiters 104.4. Uh, so a nice 38 point win there to Moneymakers, they had some really good players, um, Josh Allen got 34, Montgomery got 33, Pierce got 11, Jefferson got 23, and Puka Nakuka got 26. For Little Waiters, uh, Jacobs got 23, Swift got 15, Adams got 11, and Moore got 23. So not a bad effort by them. Scoring over 100 is always a good sign for your team, even if you lose. So they won't be uh, a little bit too, won't be too upset there. But money makers are well, well and truly too good in that game. In the next game, the Browns sniffed home a win here, 97.74. To Sheba Kamini, 87.66. Browns on a bit of a streak at the moment, so good luck to them. The Browns had Jackson with 25, Robinson 16, Brown 13, Aubrey 10, and for Shiva Kamini, uh, Tagavagalu Alova got 10, Henry got 23, Metcalf 10, and Kamara in his first game back got 14.9. So good win there by the Browns, uh, stopping the run of Shiva Kamini. Uh, in the next game, Lara West Rams were hosting uh, Young Remix Killers, and they went down 90, uh, 88.64 to uh, Young Remix Killers 95.24. Uh, Young Remix Killers were led beautifully by Dak Prescott 11, Harris 10, Williams 26, McLaurin 18, Lamb 12, and for LWR we had Love at 12, Diggs had a great game 33. Ridley 10 and Butker 10, but not good enough in the end. And uh, Young Remix Killers um, win that one. And in the last game, I said this, I tipped this, I tipped this would be the upset. Mitch's Mungles 101.98, defeating the Overlords 98.16. For Mitch's Mungles, um, Lawrence got 14, Brown got 34, Davis got 13, Charge Defense got 17. For the Overlords, Cook got 14, Walker got 13, 
Ferguson got 11, McManus 14, and Ravens got 18. So, uh, just in summary, Rock for Cash, their first win of the year. Cash heads are over the moon, uh, beating a smooth criminal. Herbert's only fans beat Archie's All Stars. The Dark Side beat Team Mazza. Money Makers XXL defeat a Little Waiters. Uh, the Browns beat Sheba Kamini. Young Remix Killers beat LWR. And Mitch's Mongrels in an upset over the Overlords. So let's just go to the league now and see where everyone is on the ladder. Uh, we've got, at the moment, six teams on three and one, believe it or not. Uh, on top is uh, Herbert's Only Fans, three and one. Overlords in second spot, three and one. Moneymakers XXL, three and one in third. The Browns, three and one in fourth. The Dark Side, three and one in fifth. And Young Remix Killers, three and one in sixth. Uh, in seventh spot, Shiba Kamini, two and two. Mitch's Mungles, two and two. And the rest of these teams are all on one and three. Little Waiters in ninth. LWR in tenth. Rock for Cash move off the bottom up to 11th. Archie's All Stars, Team Mazza, and then Smooth Criminal. So, really, this, uh, this song in the background is for La Lara West Rams, Archie's All Stars, Team Mazza, and Smooth Criminal, all on big losing streaks. So, pull your fucking fingers out, guys, or else you'll have this fucking playing at your own house. All right, so that's pretty much it. There's your review for week four. Hope you have a good, um, good game in week five, and that's the cash out.